Good day. Today we are learning the difference between slope aspect and gradient. Research by Neve Shah, slide designed by Matthew Burnett, script by Matthew Robinson, and narration by myself, Nathan Mordent. Firstly, let's define gradient and aspect. Gradient is the rate of vertical change of a slope compared to distance traveled. It is measured in degrees of an angle or as a percentage. Aspect is a measure of a slope's orientation in space and is represented by degrees taken clockwise from north or compass points. How do we work with slope gradient? It is computed as the maximum rate of change between a point and its surroundings, where the flatter terrain is represented by lower values and the higher values indicate steeper slopes. Calculating slope as either a degree or percentage, we use the rise or change in the y-axis of the slope and the run, which is the change in the x-axis of the slope, to calculate the percent slope. For percent slope, we divide the rise by the run and multiply this by 100 to give us a percentage. For degrees, we use theta, where we then take the rise and divide it by the run and then make it equal to the tan of theta. Why do we need gradient? Mapping gradient plays a role in suitability analysis, predictive modeling, and predicting potential hazards. It is also used in fields such as hydrology, site planning, conservation, and infrastructure development. Using a digital elevation model, or DEM, slope can be calculated. Lastly, Gradient can also be used to determine if areas are suitable for certain models or fit research parameters. How do we measure slope aspect? It is measured clockwise in degrees from 0 degrees to 360 degrees, with 0 being north. When working with flat slopes, they have no aspect and are thus given a value of negative 1. Where and when do we use aspect? Some examples include finding north-facing slopes for ski slopes and runs, calculating solar illumination to determine the diversity of plant life in a given area, finding locations where snow is likely to melt first and predicting the effects thereof. Aspect can also be used in emergencies such as finding flat land for a plane to land safely, should the need arise. Thank you for watching.